Raindrops on roses and whiskers on you. Na, 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 These are a few of my Hi, Nicole. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Oh, I'm chilly right now. I got goosebumps. Do you see my goosebumps? Woo! Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Hello. I got the boobies out today. What's going on? It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Mm, 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 mm. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Um, okay, so a couple of things. Hi, Michelle. A couple of things. First of all, how did I not know? Literally, how did I not know? that this tool that Mary has been trying to turn me on to is such a game changer, okay? This tool is such a game changer. Mary has been telling me we sell these uh, at State of Style. And Mary has always used this. That's why we sell it, because she loves it. And I never tried it because I was like, I don't need that. I wash my face with bar soap. I never take care of my face. I never have. That's just not my jam. Anyway, Jacqueline, I got you, girl. I got you. I got you. Okay. So we sell this at State of Style, right? Mary loves this. It's her favorite one. I started using this and it is a game changer. Everything goes on differently. Everything goes on differently. Like, like literally everything. My lotion goes on differently. My oils, my everything. My self-tanner, which by the way, it's probably, um, uh, guys, why y'all making me block you so early with the weirdness, with the weirdness. So anyway, I have to tell you, I never... By the way, covering my face with self-tanner because I'm pale as a mug. Anyway. Oh, Mary, you just restocked? That's great. Okay, so I'm just telling you that I am a believer. It's so, first of all, like how have I not known that that was like a thing. Why don't I trust Mary when she tells me, Jamie, we sell it for a reason. It's on the State of Style page, uh, on the shop page. Mary, what is it under? I don't know. I know the cleansing balm is bomb, but I'm not talking about that right now. Um, this is like the exfoliating whatever. It's next level. The cleansing mitt. The cleansing mitt. I hold it in my hand like this. That's probably not the right way. You're probably supposed to finger the thing right here, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to get in there, but that's not how I, um, hold it. I hold it like this and I, I put the cleansing balm on my face and then I do this. This is anyway, let me tell you what I am late to the game. I am late to the game and I am a believer now. Okay. I was late finding Jesus and I was late finding the cleansing mitt. Okay. And it's got this sticky thing and it sticks right on your shit, sh your sh sh 
What am I having a stroke? Your, your, your shower. Anyway, so it's like a gentle exfoliation. It's so good. It's so, so good. Anyway, I just had to share that with y'all because I was in the shower like, I hate, listen, I love Mary, but I hate being like, okay, you were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. She was right. She was right. And I'm sorry that I didn't listen sooner, Mary. Um, anyway, really quick, I want to get to today's conversation. Um, I got this email from somebody who asked me that she's trying to listen to God's voice. And how does she know when it's time to make? Oh, chastity, it's great. I'm telling you, next level. Where the heck do you get the cleaning bomb? It's on stateofstylejewelry.com under the face and body thing. Everything is on there. Okay, so listen. So I got this message and she said, how do I know when it is time to make a move? And I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. Once you start thinking about wanting to make a move, that is God talking to you. Right there. You're waiting for a megaphone. You want God to come through like, burr, 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 burr. that's not how God works. God doesn't like scream in your ear. Now he will make you uh, as uncomfortable as all get out. But when you look back at your life and you look at some of the schedules you used to keep and some of the things you used to do and some of the jobs you used to work and you look back and think, I would never do that again. I would never do that again, but you understand that you had to do that to get to the next thing, to get to the next thing, to get to where you are now, right? Every single decision you make, every move you make, every claim you stake, God is watching you. And he is talking to you every time. And the second you start to get uncomfortable and you start to think, should I make a move? I'm not sure if this is working for me anymore. I don't know how I feel about this. That is God's voice. It doesn't mean you have to make a move. It means that there is something in your current situation that needs your attention. Making a move in your job or making a move in your relationship, it doesn't mean you need to change. It means something in your life needs your attention. And I have been doing what I have been doing in Hollywood for years, years, two decades, in one way or another, right? Two decades. God, I started hearing God's voice I started getting uncomfortable. I started thinking about other things three years ago, before the pandemic. But I ignored it because I was not ready to listen. And I started thinking about a coffee shop. And I started thinking about a coffee shop. And I start, started thinking about a coffee shop. And I couldn't shake it. And I couldn't get it out of my head. And I didn't know why. And... I'm still thinking about it and I'm still scared and I'm still not sure and I'm still blah, blah, blah. But here's what I know. Whether I do the coffee shop shop or not, okay? Whether I do the coffee shop or not, something in my life needs my attention. And that is why I have this nagging voice in the back of my head asking me if everything's okay. Is this still where you want to be? Is this still what you want to be doing? Are you truly fulfilled? Do you feel, is you, are you right in your spirit? Because here's the thing, I don't have to make a change, but there's something that needs my attention. So when you want to know if it's time for you to make a move, don't, you're, don't listen for God's voice like actually. You're not going to hear Jim Carrey like, Hello, this is God. That's not how it works. But when you start to feel uncomfortable, when you start to think like, is this still what I want to be doing? When you find yourself on Pinterest looking at other opportunities, when you find yourself like daydreaming about other things, that is all the universe speaking to you about something in your life that needs your attention. When you start looking at other men, or other women, 
When you start fantasizing, and by the way, a lot of that is natural, so don't feel too guilty, but when you start to do that, when your mind starts to stray in other ways, it isn't because you're not with the right person, it's because something in your relationship needs your attention, period. And again, it doesn't mean it'll all work out. It doesn't mean that that's, I'm just saying something needs your attention. It may be that you do need to make a move. It may be that your relationship is over, or it may just be like, how can I refocus? How can I love my partner differently? Am I praying for myself? Am I praying for my partner? Like whatever it is, I started to feel that I needed to be with my children more and it became naggy and it became uncomfortable and it became resentment. I started to resent the things around me and it was because I was ignoring the messages that I was getting from God about being around my children. And instead of feeling comfortable enough to say, I am a successful woman who wants to take time off to be with her children. I kept trying to justify why I deserve to spend time with my children. That is a Jamie thing. Sure. The world makes you feel bad for taking time off to be with your kids, especially America. So if you don't live in America, you may not understand it as well because in America, they want you to have a baby and get right the fuck back to work because that's a strong woman. You got to push a baby out of your hoo-ha, wipe your crotch and get right back on the fucking conveyor belt. And I just, it was nagging me, nagging me, nagging me, nagging me. And I'm like, why do I feel guilty for wanting to raise my children? How fucking preposterous is that? I'm going to get to heaven and God's going to be like, wow, girl, you made a bunch of movies, but your kids were shit. Well, I failed then. Then I failed, period. That's not a roach clip, Joey. It's an eyelash curler. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is if you want to know if it's time for you to make a move, the fact that you're thinking about it is the sign. And you just need to pay attention to something in your life. Something needs your attention. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to move. It means you've got to turn your attention somewhere. Whatever it is you're daydreaming about, whatever it is you're fantasizing about, whatever it is you can't stop thinking about, it is that part of your life that is requiring your attention, period. And I'm going to tell you this. I want to be with my children, even if it means, and I can't believe I'm saying this because I have never, ever said this before. You're here, heard it here first, folks. I've never said this. Even if it means that I have to take money from Michael to live. I want to be with my children. I want to raise fully hands-on my children for the next seven years. That is what I want to do. If I do the coffee shop, I want them in the coffee shop with me, working for me. I want my children under me. I want to be with my kids. Now, I have been the most independent woman I can be up until this point. But the I can't ignore the signs or the messaging or the God's voice or Jamie's voice or anything anymore. I've tried to ignore it. I've tried to work it away. I've tried to whatever. I can't. I want to mother my children. I want to be the bear in the woods, picking them up by the back of their neck and putting them down. I, even if I have to go on a, on a, on a, what's it called? An allowance. Even if Michael, I don't care. I will humble myself and it will be hard. It will be hard because I don't take money from that man. We don't share money. We live separate financial lives, but I will do it if it means that I can be fully with my children for the next seven years. Seven years goes by like that. and the, But that's not the point of the coffee talk. The point of the coffee talk is that I have been listening to this voice, this messaging, this urge to make a move, and I have been ignoring it, but it doesn't mean it wasn't there. It doesn't mean it wasn't there. I just was choosing not to listen to it. And nobody ever says, I regret raising my children. Nobody. I will never regret being with my children. They will be better human beings because of it.
I believe that. Now, I'm not the best mom, and I curse a lot, and I dance in the supermarket, and all those things, but I want to be with my kids. I want them to look back at their li at my life and and be like, oh, mom was everywhere. She was everywhere. She was at every event. She was at every dance. She cooked nonstop. She baked all the time. I want to be a mom. I want to mother my children nonstop. That's all I want to do is mother my children. And I have heard the move, the call to make the move. I have heard it. Y'all, I have traveled the world. I have made movies. I have written books. I have gone on tour. I have done all the things. Okay, I have done it. I am a success in my own right, despite how anybody else defines it. I want to mother my children. That is all I want to do. So if you are looking for a sign, the sign is that you are looking for a sign. Period. That's the sign. It's right there. Okay? Now, I love you very much. And that's why I share these weird ranty screams with you and I shout at you in the morning and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But I do, I love you and I want you to be fulfilled and I want you to learn to trust the voice and I don't want you to waste as much time as I did. Yes, Teresa, exactly. Do it and quit talking about it. Yes, this is what I'm saying. I wasted three years of my life ignoring the freaking um, Lena. She says she's moving to LA and it feels right. How do I trust myself? You, you go, you trust yourself. Why wouldn't you trust yourself? You trust other people. Here, I'm giving you permission. Lena, it's the absolute right thing for you. Go with God and be great. And guess what? If it doesn't work, like Bon Jovi said, who said you can't go home? Okay? You can go home. It's never too late to turn around, ever. You can always turn around. If I stop and I am with my children and I open a coffee shop, by the way, y'all, it is so expensive. I might have to put up a, um, a GoFundMe. If I put up a GoFundMe, will everybody give me $5 to open this coffee shop? Because holy shit. But I'm just saying, I could always go back to Hollywood, period. You can always go back. Okay, I love you so much. You can share this video. You can put it on your page and say, listen to this crazy lady screaming. I love you guys so much. Have a great, great day.